Hello, good day to you. Today, my demonstration is about the use of Linux network namespaces in OpenStack. I have made a video before where I described how to use Linux network namespace. Uh, the network namespace basically is a logical copy of the network stack. So a namespace, a network namespace has its own routes, its own firewall rules, its own network devices and IP address. So it is, you know, in a way you can think of it as, you know, virtualizing the network stack. So OpenStack make use of this technology a lot. So, and that is what I want to show you, you know, as part of my series on administration of OpenStack. So if you are working in OpenStack, I think this is one of the things you should know because if you need to troubleshoot the network, this is one of the things you have to, you know, really understand. So basically this is the OpenStack document page where it talks about network namespaces. So, and uh, give some definition. For example, we say a namespace is a way to sc of scoping a particular set of identifiers. So basically the identifiers we are talking about there are things like the routes, the, the devices and IP addresses. So furthermore, it talks, I think one of the greater points is here where it, it says each network namespace also has its own routing table. And in fact, this is the main reason for network, uh, for namespace to exist. So the fact that the routing table of each na namespace is different, that is one of the main reason why this network namespace exists. So because if you take a look at another technology, which is more or less the same, uh, that is virtual routing and forwarding. So Virtual routing and forwarding, you know, basically is a technology that allows multiple instances of routing table to exist, to coexist on the same router at the same time. So it says this is, it is another name for network namespace functionality described. So I hope you are able to understand uh, all, the, all this theory that I'm you know, showing you. So now I will go to the terminal so that it will not be whole theory and I will be able to see some practical you know, things. So like I said, network namespace is a very, is a core part of what, uh, of how, you know, the OpenStack Neutron, you know, achieves a lot of what it does. So let's log in to my OpenStack. I have an OpenStack Okata version here. And I'll go to the network uh, tab under the network. Uh, let's wait for it to load. But why it is okay? Yeah, it is loaded. So on my network, I have two networks actually. One is int network, one is EST network. Let me show my network topology. So my network topology will show how things are connected. So this is my network topology so you see i have one router this is the router router one i have uh this is the internet network and this is the est network so now let me go to the terminal this is the terminal of my openstack setup if you are in a multi-node environment where you have you know separate nodes this will be on your network node this setup is uh, like all in one setup, but I'm just telling you in case you have multiple nodes set up. So if I type IPNetNS, so IPNetNS basically stands for network namespace. You can type NetNS LS, the same thing. So you see there are two network namespaces here. You know, one that, start, that started with QDHCP and the other one that started with QRouter. So the one that started with key router actually corresponds to this router here, my router one. So if you look at the ID of this router, you see the ID ended with C7F8. So if I go to the network namespace, you see 
is ended with C7F8. So the other name, namespace, which started with QDHCP, corresponds to the int network, that is the internal network here. So th there's no representation for the for the external network, only for you know the private networks and the router. So you see, I have two namespaces that correspond, you know, to the one one of the private network and one of the and the router. So and this is very crucial. So and one of the crucial things that namespace you know helps neutron to achieve is we, we can have two subnets two networks with the same addresses you know the same exact you know addresses you know this they will be separated by the network namespace we can achieve this you know by network namespace so what i'm going to do actually i'm going to create i'm going to create two uh networks so let me create one network i'll call it the red network uh nest create the subnet uh and here i'll give the the network address to be 192.168.10.0 slash 24 next so let's create it this that is my red uh network so if we go back to the terminal actually uh waiting to think i lost my terminal let me give it some time but you see i i created this uh network called the red network let me actually create one more uh network sorry i think i lost my terminal let me log back in i sshed into the terminal so um think let me just restart my networking so uh i have to restart my network on my system give me like give me couple like one moment because i need that to be back before i can connect to my openstack server because i'm connected to it over ssh so but somehow i lost my networking and i have to actually restart it so restart the networking um yeah i get that okay it's back uh sorry for that break in transmission so i'll become roots again uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so i became roots and if i type ip net ns again net ns so you see now i have an additional network namespace so i will create another network actually called the blue network and i'll call it here yeah, the blue subnet i will give it also i'll give it exact same um network address so i am able to achieve that because of the help of network namespace so it is going to be created in another network namespace. So if I run IP net NS again, you see now I have four network namespaces. So the the network namespace that corresponds to the to the private networks, you know, are the one that starts with QDHCP. The one that corresponds to the router is the one that starts with Q router. So you see uh like the ones that the, the ones so this is my blue network you see uh this is my red network so look at the like the hand of the id the id is 40343 so if i go to my terminal you see 40343 so that is how the namespaces are named 
So the it's his name with you know something like QDSCP, you know, then with the uh, ID. So uh, let me show you one more thing actually. So this network namespace we can execute some things you know with on them. So if you need to execute something on network namespace, you run net IP net NS exec. So exec, don't forget that. So the name of the namespace. So let's run some like IP address. So I'm running this IP address command on this namespace. So if you look at my IP address, you see you know all these interfaces that I have. And especially you see this IP address which corresponds to the uh the IP address of the gateway of the router. So if I go to my router, so if I go to my this is my router called router one. So look at the IP address of the gateway, it is 10.20.20.6. So when I run the IP address on the, the namespace, you see. 10.20.20.6 slash 8 so that that is uh that is a one way so if you need to troubleshoot your networking so for example for if you if you are having network issues one of the things you can do you can come under this network namespace and try to ping your you know default gateway you know if this is so if you are dealing with things like floating ips so this is very important so for example let, let me even create i'm going to create an instance and i'm going to attach uh i'm going to attach a floating ip to this instance so quickly let me create an instance uh so i have options of network so this is the network that i want okay launch that's fine uh then i'm going to attach a floating ip so i will do associate floating ip uh oh i select this the port that i want is this associate so while that is going on if i go back to my uh, network namespace and I run IP address again. You see under my under this you know interface, this particular interface, there is one more uh, IP address that I sh that showed up. That's ten dot twenty dot twenty dot three. That is the floating IP that I just created. So th this is the way in which you know OpenStack uses you know the network namespace to isolate the networking of different networks you know to do the things like the uh things like the i floating ip so one thing i can do so so when i say that that's uh i can run ip table command under this uh namespace so if i run ip table dash l so you see you know this namespace actually has its own ip table you know with which it does is able to achieve a lot of what it does so this uh, topic might not be a very basic topic especially if you are in the open stack arena it might be a little bit advanced so it uh, i don't consider it as an entry level topic but if you really want to get into OpenStack, this is uh basically this is the one of the things you have to know. Let me allocate one more. Okay, no worry. Yeah, I have to be able to at attach it to. I've demonstrated, you know, attaching. This is the floating IP that I created that was attached to the instance, and we can see it on the. On the terminal when I run the IP address. So uh, let me under the under the pnetns exec. One of the 
namespaces if i run ip address so look at this ip address 192.168.1.2 where where does that belong to so it is the ip address you know that was allocated and attached to the interface of the router so that's one of the interfaces um actually it's not uh let me see i think this it should be this should actually be okay yeah so okay th that is this is a another concept of a tap interface actually so which yeah i don't want to get into in this um, demonstration so that this is belongs to concept of tap interface so but so basically i think that is what i want to show let me see if there's something that i can show that relates to this so so basically for troubleshooting i think that's like one of the most important thing you know the troubleshooting aspect that if you are having problem with your networking one of the places you can come to or uh, check you know to troubleshoot is under this uh, namespace especially the q router namespace because it is the one that handles the uh it is the one that handles the the floating ip you know assignment and the or the nat table that goes on so and that command i can run under it is the ip route so basically to see the routing you know that's available on this uh, particular network namespace so um so not to make this video too long i think that is all i want to show if you have any questions or any suggestions let me know on the comment section so thank you for watching i'll see you bye